So the big question on no one's lips, apart from mine, is can the iPhone 15 Pro record ProRes externally to an M.2 SSD that I have here in my hands? So I've seen a few videos demonstrating the iPhone 15 Pro recording externally to SSD drives, just your normal external typical SSD drives you just buy from the store. This obviously you can find in laptops and PCs and stuff. But in order for this to work or try and work, you need an enclosure for this, an SSD enclosure. So I bought the Sabrent SSD enclosure and it's got USB-C port, you pop it open and the drive will sit in there. That. There we go. In there. Boom. And you're ready to go. Uh, this is an M.2 NVMe PCI Express interface. So when you put this in the motherboard, in a laptop or a PC, they're about four times faster than a normal SSD uh, going through uh, the SATA interface or SATA, wherever you come from. So these are considerably faster than the normal SATA SSDs. And I believe this is around 1500 write to about 1000 read or something like that. So it's really, really fast. Now the M.2 enclosure, the Sabrent, this is USB 3.2, USB-C, so it supports transfer speeds up to like 10 gigabits per second, which is crazy fast. So as long as you get the right enclosure, uh, obviously USB 3.2, you get this nice thick premium USB-C cable with it as well. So that is all good to go and connect to the iPhone. This is my setup. So this is my setup, I've got the iPhone 15 Pro connected to a Sabrent SSD enclosure. Now inside that I have an M.2 SSD. So that's the M.2 inside there. This is actually an NVMe PCI Express. So they do have faster read and write speeds. And I've got these little command strips on there which just sit nicely on top there. I've got the USB-C cable here, look, which is gonna go straight into that. So I've got connectivity straight to the iPhone. And we can see we're in ProRes mode at the moment, only HD 30, but we can change it to 4K 60. ProRes 4K 60, and we can hit record. And there we go, look. We can record straight away, ProRes 4K 60. Now, if I do say so myself, that is a pretty cool setup. And this is the, the rig that you did just saw in that video and at the top there is the command stripped and they're really really handy it's like velcro there you go sorted now if you saw that looped into the back and straight into the iphone so maybe it might be a little bit too short but i wanted to use the usb cable that come with it let me tell you this though this iphone cable this is an iphone cable that come with the iphone charger that i bought this does work with it as well now you've got to remember also that the iPhone will be powering that SSD and it drains it like a bitch, seriously. So make sure your iPhone is like 100% charged and not to mention the huge file size. So this is some of the ProRes I recorded. Look, one minute length is 12.3 gigs, 30 seconds, 6.5 gigs. They're huge. Now I'm from a Windows platform. I've loaned this iPhone thanks to Vodafone links in the description for the Vodafone deals. Yeah, I loaned this phone so I can do a couple of these videos because uh, I love tech and I have to be sort of open-minded and I do like to test iPhones and stuff as well. But when you do get an M.2 SSD or an SSD, you need to format it before it works with recording ProRes on the iPhone. Obviously different file systems and stuff like that. On iOS, it should just be a case of plugging it in and just formatting or whatever it does on there then it would work straight from there. But with Windows, you have to plug it in and format it as XFAT. Okay, so if you format it as XFAT, you won't get this error. Once you've formatted it, you plug it straight into the iPhone and you will have 4K60 available to record externally and it works a treat.
Now obviously what you've got to remember if you are working on the Windows machine, originally I did export it at 4K60 H.264, I think it was, uh, but you do have the options in Premiere Pro to export in ProRes as well. Now the minimum requirements in terms of write speed that you need for recording ProRes on an external device is 220 megabytes per second. If we quickly look at eBuyer, just to have a look at the, the SSDs and stuff, obviously the one I had is a little bit older, but at the top here, look, they're coming down in price, 50 pound for a one terabyte NVMe PCI Express M.2 SSD, bit of a mouthful, but look, three and a half thousand megabits per second read and write, crazy fast. And then here, look, you see the standard SSDs, uh, one terabyte SSD looks only 560 meg meg uh, megabits per second, but the crucial one here, look, one terabyte, it's only 560 uh, read and 510 write, which is still, which will still work uh, with an iPhone 15 Pro, obviously the minimum's 220. And look, down here, again, so all the speeds are crazy, crazy fast compared to the one uh, that I have or that I tested in regards to M.2 SSDs. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. It's definitely answered my own question. Um, if you have any comments, comment down below. I'll include links to all the, the sort of accessories and stuff that I used today in this video if you want to go and check them out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.